Hey guys, it's Wiseo Corny here, and today I'm going to explain how to calculate the unemployment rate. And this is the unemployment rate of Australia. So firstly, to start off, um, the workforce in Australia is defined as those people aged 15 years or over engaged in full-time or part-time employment along with those unemployed people who are actively seeking work. So firstly, I'm going to have a diagram to just show you um, Australia's population. So the Australian Bureau of Statistics said that Australia's population um, on August 2011, which was, which was the most recent uh, survey that they, that they did, was 22.8 million people. So let's draw a diagram just to make it clearer. So this little purple bulb over here is Australia's population. So this represents every single individual in Australia. So that's 22.8 million people. And since we're calculating the unemployment rate, we don't want the people aged 15 or under because they're not calculating the unemployment rate because it's not like you're going to see a little infant toddler having a job. So they get removed from the um, they get removed from the calculation. So this would be a uh, person's aged under 15 <clears throat> and this is for Australia in America I think it's minor, uh, people aged 16 and under I'm not too sure I can check if you want um, and then next we have the labour force the, so the labour force is calculated by the unemployed and the employed and um, the unemployed is calculated by the unemployed and people actively seeking work within the within around a span of four weeks. So this next bubble here is the labor force. <clears throat> so here is the labor force. And as I said, the labor force is calculated Oops, sorry about that. The labour force is calculated by the number of people unemployed plus employed. <clears throat> How do I... And just to make it clearer, this further unemployed is further categorized, segregated as people unemployed plus actively seeking actively uh, seeking work in the past four weeks. So again from the Australian Bureau of Statistics I found out that the number of unemployed persons equated to 620,000 so this is unemployed and the number of employed persons so I'm running out of space here employed was um, 11,500,000 so so using this calculation, we know that the labour force um, is equal to the number of employed and unemployed persons. So this gives us a total of twelve. This gives us a total of twelve point twelve million people. So this is the labour force. Okay. So from this blue circle, this is the labor force, and within this blue circle, there is the employed and the unemployed. So here is a little circle of unemployed people. So this is the unemployed. Oop. Spelling's a bit off. Sorry. Unemployed. Okay. So in order to calculate the actual unemployment rate, we need the un we need the number of unemployed over the labor force. So 
I've already shown you what the labor force is, so basically it's pretty simple, we just have to put it, um, put the calculations in, so the unemployment rate, is calculated by the number of unemployed persons over the labor force. And then you can use times 100 to find the percentage, or not the percentage, but the number. Um, so, let's put the numbers in. So, as we have here, unemployed is 620,000. And that is divided by the labor force, which we know is the number of employed and unemployed persons. So that's um, 11.5 million plus 620,000. And that gives us, uh, I think, gives us 0 0.051. And then that just continues on. Um, and since we're trying to find um, a whole percentage, or at least the closest whole number we can get, we're going to times it by 100. So this no longer becomes 0 0.051. Instead, this becomes 5.1. And this itself is the unemployment rate. So your unemployment rate would just be 5.1%. So I hope that helped. Um, I hope you know how to calculate the unemployment rate now. Um, just to go through it again, uh, basically the unemployment rate, as, as I said, is just the unemployed over the labor force, and the labor force is just the unemployed and the employed. And the unemployed is just the unemployed plus actively seeking work um, in the past four weeks, within the span of four weeks. And um, this, the unemployment rate does vary a bit because after a person is um, no longer seeking work or is seeking work for longer than four weeks, say they were seeking work for around seven weeks, um, they would go into another circle um, outside, actually outside of the labor force. So they go, so say, here's unemployment, so see this is unemployed. As I said, the unemployed was the unemployed and actively seeking work within four weeks. So say if um, the person was seeking work for, for seven weeks, yes, um, they go into a little circle or group category outside of the labor force. So this little green dot, this person here, whoop, sorry, I'm just gonna rub this out, it jumps into this category. And this can actually be beneficial for the unemployment rate. Um, it can actually lower the unemployment rate because say if Australia was in a really really bad crisis and everyone the whole population you know they couldn't find any work at all um, everyone within like say um the labor force all the unemployed would firstly move to the unemployed group and then from there after being unemployed for say seven weeks they would jump into the group outside the labor force and this actually in turn reduces the unemployment rate. So we could have an unemployment rate of 0%, which might sound good. Um, look, just looking at the number, just looking at 0%, wow, we have an unemployment rate of 0%. But then if you delve into the actual numbers, you would actually see that no one is employed, <laughs> which is kind of ironic. Um, so that's just a little calculation, nifty calculation there. but. Um, I don't think you have to delve that deeply. Uh, this is a year 11 syllabus, so it should be okay. As I said, um, just remember the calculations. Just remember the calculations for the unemployed, unemployed labor force, labor force, unemployment rate. And that is about, just about all you need to know to find the unemployment rate. So I hope this video helped and Stay tuned for another video later on and just um, inbox me or put a message below for any definitions, um, videos or tutorials that you would like to see in the future. So anyway, see you guys!
and good luck with your economics. Bye!